Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, something a bit different this time. Um, and as the title uh, description says, I'm go just going to show you quickly how I clean my retro carts. Uh, there's, there's tons of videos on, on this subject on, on YouTube. Uh, loads of different you know techniques and, and whatnot that you can find online forums and, and things things like that. But I thought, what the hell? Um, this this technique, which I'm going to show you, I've had amazing success with, um, pretty much 100% success rate. So I've, I thought I'd share it with uh, with you guys out there, um, and hopefully, you know, uh, somebody can get something from it. Um, right, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your cart. Uh, I'm using Super Donkey Kong here. Uh, this one's um, it's a bit of a bugger. This cart it only works three times out of ten um, so that's why um, I'm going to be doing that one uh, you're going to need a screwdriver with the correct um, screwdriver bit <coughs> um, I'm not too sure actually what, what the size is um, but I can find out but there we go you can use this by hand if, you, if you'd prefer um, to be honest I prefer to use a screwdriver uh, just better grip. Um, I have already removed the screws though, um, here and here, uh, just to save some save some time. Um, and the two main ingredients, first is a, well, a rubber is what we used to call them, but a, an eraser. Um, doesn't matter what colour you use, um, white, pink, blue, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing that to look for is to make sure it's soft. Um, it has to be a soft one. Yeah, I know you can you can get ones which are really rock rock hard. Um, I personally wouldn't use those. Uh, I also wouldn't use the ones on the end of pencils either. Just something to uh, something to think about. But just a, sand, a standard soft eraser is all you're going to need, and you're going to need some of this stuff. Electron electronic contact cleaner. Um, yeah, very inexpensive. You can pick pick that up from hardware stores um, places like that for usually just a couple of quid um, I'm using this instead of isopropyl rubbing alcohol which is something that gets shown a lot on um, on these types of videos I personally I, I don't use uh, alcohol um, it's unnecessary um, and you know this is the stuff you want and also, I've got a bit of a bit of a rag there. Uh, you can use uh, cotton buds or Q-tips wherever wherever you reside. Um, it doesn't matter really. Right, so here we go. As I say, I've already um, I've already undone that. And here we go. See if that's going to come up on camera. If it'll focus. It's quite dirty. Um, it's not the worst I've seen, but it is quite dirty. Move those to one side. There we go. Yeah, um, as I say, I've, my, the success rate with using this this technique has been amazing. Um, I've done all my Super Famicom games now, apart from this one, because um, th there was quite a few which just wouldn't work. Um, they are, they either just blatantly refuse to work. Or they, they would only work, um, you know, a certain amount of times. So I, I've had enough, basically. So I'd cleaned the cartridge slot on the uh, on the system, which is something you're gonna have to do first, um, and then do each individual game separately. Um, and then, you know, chances are you probably never have to do it again. So here we go. We're gonna take the uh, eraser. Hopefully, you're gonna see the camera decides to focus, which it probably won't. And we're just going to rub all the way across the pins. Um, you want to apply a bit of pressure here. Um, it's no good um, being too gentle, but you know, again, don't be too don't be too rough with it. Oh. I think that should do. 
and I would do the reverse again nice and nice and firm you don't want to be too uh, too soft with it oh this camera angle is absolutely appalling I'm really sorry guys but you, you, get, you get the gist of it right I'm pretty happy with that um, now I'm just going to quickly oop, wipe off any excess eraser pieces right <clears throat> yeah it, it's at this point really you don't want to be touching the pins anymore uh, it's fine to touch them before you start but yeah you don't want to be doing doing that now I'm going to take oh, my uh, contact cleaner and just put a piece on the on the rag I'm going to give it a nice clean up Reverse. Uh, it's probably best to be quick uh, when you do this because the uh, the contact cleaner really does dry um, extremely quickly. So and we're done. That does look a it does look a, a bit better. Uh, it looks better in real life than on the. Um, On the camera, but there, there now we can uh, pop all this back together, and it's going to work. I see no reason as to why it won't. Like I said, I've done it to all the others. Um, each and every one now works first time. So yeah, um, that's been a cheat, guys. I'm really sorry about the quality. Um, bit of a rubbish video, but you know, you, you get the the general idea. Uh, so I definitely recommend giving this a shot. Um, like I say, most people use um, rubbing alcohol. I, I personally don't use it. Um, you know, rubbing alcohol is okay for cuts and scrapes <laughs> on human skin, uh, but this is, you know, it's a, uh, it's an electrical component basically. And yeah, it makes sense to me. I know a lot of other people use other various things. Um, I don't really want to say anything about those really. Um, I wouldn't use Brasso, that's one thing I would never use. I don't understand why people recommend that at all. Um, uh, water, I know a lot of people do use a little bit of water. Again, for, for minor for minor cleanups, that, you know, that that's okay actually. Um, but to really get your pins nice and clean, um, get the eraser on them and then uh, give it a nice uh, th thorough clean with the uh, contact cleaner uh, and they'll, they'll be gleaming and it will work first time um, I promise so yeah that's it guys that's all you need um, cheers for watching um, and hopefully I'll see you all soon in, in another video bye